Hello! Welcome to the first 30 minutes of The Silent Age. This game is currently free on Epic until April 6th, so I thought it would be a perfect time to come check it out. Alright, click to start. The Silent Age, the present. It looks like just another Tuesday as Joe sweeps down the floors on the anonymous cold office hallways and he notices the note. I'm meeting with the brace. Little does he know that today's about to take a very dramatic turn. Alright, start I guess. Not sure what's going on, but... 1965. Alright, we're... We're in the past for sure. Is that me? I'm a painter? Painting a ship by the looks of it? 1968? Okay. Uh, did I join the army? Is that what happened? Which of this crass here is annoying you? <laughs> I hide it in the corner. There you go. 1969? Nice. Buffet, all you can eat. Did I become homeless? Or am I a sign flipper? Is that what that is? I'm liking the visuals. I know nothing of this game. 1971. Okay. I became a janitor. Life, life has its ups and downs, you know? Sometimes you gotta take the punches. Now we're here. I'm assuming now we're here? One year later? Okay. What happened? Chapter 1, the present. Oh, am I in it now? Is this a point and click? Oh, it is. No. What's that? There's a sticky note on the door that says, Joe, Mr. Hill wants to see you. Frank. Okay, door sign. It's my office. It says so in permanent marker right underneath the supply room sign. Oh, that's bad. We can go in here. Anything fancy in here? A light bulb? Grab that, I guess. It looked bright. We now have a light bulb. Broken light bulb. Take that. No light. I should change the bulb. So it'll be... Okay, click. Easy enough. Change it. No, turn it on. Perfect. What's this say? It's my award. I got it for helping out one of the lab assistants downstairs after she missed hand or after he mishandled some barrels. I agreed to keep them in here. Okay. The worst anyway was sort of unofficial. I was told to keep the plague on my office. Oh shit, my bad. These barrels were brought to you in here about a year ago. I don't mind them. I have plenty of space as they can hardly smell at all. Okay, rubber glove. There's also something on the table here, but I'm gonna craft the grab. It's one of those thick rubber gloves used for cleaning things in the labs. Okay, coffee table. It's the access card for the management floor. Alright, can we take the... I found this out back after... Wait, I found this out back after last year's summer party. Perfectly good table. Just left out in the rain. I got that baby cleaned up real good. And yep, I am a slow reader. We're going to assume that's everything we can grab in here. Uh, business card reader. I mean, clearly I put it in, right? Oh, it's a blue access card reader. The company keeps tight security. That's why I always keep my card in place where no one ever comes by. Alright, so clearly this. Boom. Into the elevator. Is there something else I missed? That's fine. Who are you? Modern art. Nothing, nothing. The title reads, into it must be French. What about this one? The title reads, the salt of Saturn Veiled. It just looks like a couple of colored blocks to me. Honestly. True. Sanctuary. I, uh, oh, I, I have a voice. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you are, sweetie. Mr. Hill's expecting you. Just walk right in. Oh, What's thank the you. matter, sugar? Cat got your tongue? Just get your honey in there. Okay, can I steal from you? Looks like someone dumped an urn in there. I could have sworn I emptied it this morning. Okay, well, let's just let's just get in. It's in the left one. Does it actually matter? Copenhagen, Bruxelles, Amsterdam, company pro performance chart. Alright, we're doing good. See in here? Hello, ashtray. Can we take it? The ashtray looks expensive, true. Ah, Jasper. It's... Hello. It's Joe, sir. Ah, of course, Joseph. 
Uh, how long is it that you've been with this company, Joseph? About two years, sir. Ah, yes. Two then years? by now okay. you must know that what we do here is very important. National security may be just a word to most people, Jasper, but for men like you and I, it means so much more. We see the people behind those words. We understand that it means the safety of every citizen in this country, not to mention the shareholders and the hard-working clerks and stakeholders at the government funding agencies. It also means a lot of pressure. A lot. And some men just... buckle. Which brings me to the main point of my agenda. A position just opened up, and we're promoting you, Jasper. Let's go! I'm... sir? Don't think the company doesn't notice its hard-working employees. We reward achievement in this organization, young man. And you've just made yourself a gold star. This means that I'm from insane. now on, you will be in charge of not only yours, but Frank's assignments, too. That's right. Uh, that means downstairs lab sanitation, drain assignments, the works, with all the clearance that entails. That's a lot of responsibility we're investing in you, Jasper. I, I thank you, sir. Uh, but what about Frank? I know you made a great team, but Frank decided to pursue a different career path this morning. We wish him all the best. Oh, and of course you understand that we won't be able to present you with a fancy title or a miserable pay raise. This is a modern company, you understand. We like to keep a flat organizational structure here. I... So congratulations, Jasper. I bet you must be very excited to get back to work with all your new responsibilities. That's perfectly understandable. I won't keep you a minute longer. Here's your key card. Oh, fuck that. I would leave immediately. What's in I'm the paper? sure you have a lot of important uh. work to attend to in your new position, son. Your raised clearance level should give you access to Frank's former janitorial turf in the basement. Better get to it. Yes, Mr. Hill, sir. Thank you, sir. Mm. I guess we're leaving. Man, that's kind of shitty. No pay? How are you going to give me a better position with more work and less pay? Can I talk to her again? Uh, I cannot. Among the higher-ups. Miss Gillette to me. I, I didn't want to read that. It's got buttons, but I don't know the codes. It just has it already unlocked. <laughs> okay. My bad. I mean... Oh, uh, different elevator. Okay. Red access card reader. Understood. So next is going to use flat card instead of keys. This cup. Oh, uh, whoops. Hold on. There we go. Forgot we had to click it. Oh, what is this? Tin foil hat. Tin foil hat. Nice one, too. Yeah, pick it up. I don't know what tin foil hat is doing here. True. Drop of blood. Looks like blood. Maybe someone cut themselves on a lab animal got loose or something. Either way, I'll be the one mopping it up this time. Okay. Did the door get stuck? Now I'm here, I guess? Wow. Press the buttons. I immediately ruined everything. Reminds me of the pong machine that I got down at Izzy's. That thing is amazing. It's been down here almost every night, every after hours since they set it up. Frank says, I'll fry my brain, but I think it works just fine. Alright. Door. I want to keep it says Crito Geninex. It's locked. Okay. There's not much of an inventory, but there seems to be something attached to the two of the wires that clearly don't belong there. I can remove it and put the panel back if I had something to protect my hands. Good thing we got the gloves. Nice. And we'd go. Look at that. I knew those gloves would come in handy. Is this a lab coat for me? So they found the car looks like a handkerchief. Okay. Can I, can I take the lab coat itself? No. Uh, it looks like something right out of science fiction movie. True. It's a very expensive data processing unit. It doesn't actually say expensive, but I think it's a fair guess. The warning sign reads caution, keep away from liquid materials. So the blood. 
far out, it's one of those doors where two people have to turn the keys at the same time to open it. It's, something, it's like something out of a secret angel movie, only this one doesn't use keys, just buttons. Can we handkerchief it? The one's a little bit shinier now, but it did nothing to open the door though. <laughs> okay. Do the other one. The one's a little bit shinier now, it did nothing to open the door though. Far out. Far those doors have two people. Uh, so I need two people, okay. Don't stop, don't touch anything. Okay, Joe, this wasn't your fault, it was like that when you got here. Just back up and slowly walk away. It's a bit sweaty. I, I should keep away from the thing. Should I think this suck up here? Like the blood, maybe? Maybe we go get the. Oh, is it. Wait, before I leave, I should really get. I should get some of that blood soaked up so I can take it to the management as proof. There's no way they believe me otherwise. Oh, okay. I was gonna do the blood in the elevator, actually. But I guess that works. I guess you've soaked up some of the blood, I need to get this to management. Alright. To management, I go. Long walk. Can I, like, pick that up? There's a lot of blood in this place, true. Dude, I really want the tinfoil hat. I think that'd be perfect. Like, why can't I wear it? Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Alright, do, do, do I talk to her? Management? Is this management or is this not good enough? I should probably talk, probably talk to her before I start waving that thing out of her face um, like a crazy person. Miss Goulet? My bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, some, something's bad. The downstairs handkerchief has basement all over the blood. Uh, what? No, I, I mean... Good heavens, sugar. That rag's got blood all over. Have you hurt yourself again? No, no, it, it's... <sighs> we keep telling you boys to follow company safety policy. I send out memos almost every week. I honestly don't know why I bother sometimes. You may look like capable grown men in those boiler suits, but you're really just big boys, ain't you? But I'm not the one who... No need to explain. Let me just take care of that for you. Now. Let's see what Gloria has for you here. Ooh, nice clean band-aid. Just go wash up and put that on. You'll be as good as new. But... Now run along, you little scamp. That wasn't helpful at all. Uh, maybe we can put that on the button? This gotta be it, right? I mean, that makes sense. You just go put the band in to hold the other button down. I, I might be big brain, I might be onto something, honestly. Uh, we are- can I grab this paper hat yet? Or tinfoil hat, sorry? Nope. Alright, let's go back to the room. Wait, isn't it- I went in this door, right? Yeah. I like the visuals of this game, though. So far, kind of unique. Uh, Band-Aid on this door. Well, push it down. Nice, I just hold the button. Let's go, big brain. Alright, brilliant. Thank you. Uh, injured man. Is this Frank? <sighs> Mister, are you alright? You're, you're bleeding. Huh, that's, that's a lot of blood. Uh, stay right here, I'll go get help. No! Don't, don't get anyone. Are you alone? I I'm not sure what- I asked you a question. Yes. Are you alone? Yes, yes, I came down here by myself. Good enough. Listen, <coughs> I'm shot mad. 
I don't have a lot of time, but I'm also not important. At least this version of me isn't. What's important is that you understand what I am about to tell you now. Should, should I be writing this down? I don't have anything to write with. Shut up and pay attention! <laughs> You're yeah. standing on the brink of an extinction-level event, set in motion by greedy half-wits that will eventually end the lives of every man, woman, and child on the planet. I know this because I'm partially to blame. And though I realized our folly in time, less sane and more senior heads prevailed. I have arrived from 40 years into the future to prevent it from happening. Things are obviously vastly more complex than this, but for lack of time to explain this properly to an insufficiently primed recipient intellect, I am what you would probably perceive as a time traveler. Mister, you've obviously lost a lot of blood. Quiet! <laughs> I have planned this out in every detail for the better part of my life. And I'll be damned if I will let it fail because of a single gun-toting overachieving parking attendant who wasn't where he was supposed to be at this point in time. <coughs> Thankfully, you look fleeceable enough to be coaxed into performing one simple task for me. I... I want you to find me, and tell me about this event before I depart for the past. You'll need this. What is this? It is a portable interdimensional planar membrane chronosync instrument. <laughs> what? It's a goddamn time machine, okay? For reasons you'll quickly come to realize. The device runs on solar rechargeable batteries. Despite this, I want you to keep it hidden until you're out of town. Don't let anyone see you with it, especially in here. Mister, between the blood and all this space talk, you're making me quite dizzy. I'm not sure how I can help you other than by calling security and getting you to an ambulance. Just take the damn device and find me. You find me, you hear? <laughs> <laughs> Go! <coughs> Go! Mister? Mister? He's dead. Oh, no, 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 I think he's dead. Oh, God, I don't. Help! Help! I need help in here! Uh, I'm, uh okay. Stay Whoa. right there, sir. Listen, you gotta help me. There's a guy in there. He, there's a lot of blood. He needs help. I said, stay right there. But I, but I work here. You know me. I Keep your hands where I can see them. Palms flat against the wall. Spread your legs. The police are on their way. Am I going to be framed for this? Is that what's going to happen? 2953. Chapter 2, The Future. Chapter 1, Look, not bad. I don't okay. want to be unreasonable here. All I want is some simple answers to some simple questions. Do you want this to become complicated, do you? Because, uh, oh, we can do that, you know. Make things complicated. Is that what you want? No, sir. Yeah, didn't think so. Let's, uh, let's just keep this nice and informal, shall we? See, I'm a simple, easy-going fella. I try to be affable and not go too hard on people. That's what I find works the best. Now, my partner over here, he's a different kind of guy. A real stickler for the rules. Ain't that right, Burke? See, I'm not too good with long, complicated answers. I confuse easily. Some kind of brain problem, I, I don't know. So sometimes I gotta consult him, you know, uh, in complicated matters. He's got a real talent for helping suspects simplify their statements. Thing is, uh, he's not much of a people person, so most people seem to prefer dealing with me. So tell you what, I give you some simple questions, you 
you feed me some simple answers, and we're all home before Donahue. How's that sound? Now, do you mind telling me what this is? Take your time. Do I have a, do I have a choice? The device is pulsating with a green light. Oh. Whoa. Where did the lights go? Hello? What was unlocked? Oh. oh man, that's bright. Oh, we are somewhere. So I guess we're same spot, but in the future then, right? Man. Ugh. Man, I'm dizzy. Oh, I, I didn't realize I had to read that. I thought he was going to keep going. That's my bad. He's dizzy. He doesn't know what happened. So the door says evidence room. It's locked. Uh, basement, I guess. I'm like, this doesn't look like a PlayStation at all. Where did that, they take me? I mean, you used the device that you were told was a time machine? <gasps> oh, t oh god, what is this? I feel nauseous. I still don't have a clue what just happened. I know there's a dead body hanging from the ceiling. Oh god. It's locked. Can we walk by it? We can. A hammer? A hammer. They must have nailed that door up in a hurry. Yeah, now we nail it down. I doesn't have a claw to remove the nails of the planks are too thick to break. There must be a better way out. I mean, what's on the second floor, I guess? Well, let's keep going. Picture, tied door. The door's tied in place. Can you use the hammer to break it? I mean, just here. I need to cut the rope somehow. I mean, this picture's quite obvious what it is, but I'll, I'll read it anyway. Far out. Oh, there's a safe hidden behind this. Far out, man. Interesting. It's locked. What a drag. Beat it with a hammer. What am I, Hercules? This is safe. Quick, she's done with these things for Pete's sake. True, he's got a point. The handle is broken off. So did I miss something over here? Or is this just nothingness? Picture? It's what? Yep, good thing these pictures have labels or I would never have guessed. True. Okay, okay, I just, this might be totally far out, but what if the time drove guy was right? What if the weird box in my pocket actually took me out, out there, the future? Um, pretty sure that's what happened. I don't think he's far out. He did say what was going to happen. And you pressed it. I don't know what else you expect. Can you go basement now? I only count three taps. The first two are fine, and the third seems to be somewhere in the basement. Oh, okay. So the door says evidence room, it's locked. Can you use the hammer? Hammer's way too small, I think I need to find a key. Am I, what am I doing wrong? Hallway. Can I use the hammer on the glass? No. The doorway's already open. All right, now we're doing something wrong. This is this painting. J. Edgar Hoover. Hoover. Hover? I don't know. I have nothing against him. <laughs> I have everything against him, dude. Can, can, you, can I whack him? What am I, an animal? Yes. It's not a sledgehammer. Can I really not do anything about this door? It's been boarded up. Then why can't we use the hammer, dude? It doesn't have a crawler. Uh, okay. So now I'm confused. So one of these? Can we take the picture now or no? There's full shutters on you, Mr. President. True. It's locked, what a drag. Doesn't have a reason to hit Lincoln besides he's long dead. True. My heart, at least it's safe to cost. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go through the door with this puny thing. 
How am I lost? I need to read the reply in the door. Can I break the glass? Hole? It's a big gaping hole on the floor. I should really be careful. The floor is beyond repair. There's a key attached to his belt. I should grab it and hope it gets me out of here somewhere. Oh. I just didn't search this. Whatever the key is for, I hope it takes me far away from here. This door? Probably not. Doesn't fit. Alright, we're making progress, we're making progress. It fits, I unlocked it. Oh, this door. Uh, another dead guy, a uh, Cortana. Oh god, I must be losing it. The police ID. Is that from the officer from the interrogation? Morosky? This is seriously creeping me out, man. Uh, officer Morosky. Officer, uh, every fiber of his body is telling me not to touch it. Even from a skeleton, you can tell it was probably able to snipe you like a twig. Boxed evidence. Unless it's small firearms, anti war propaganda, unless it's sexual aids, dentals, the rest of the boxes have case sensitive numbers or case numbers. I must lock. Can I use the camera to break the lock? The gate door is locked with the rusty old padlock. Just use the hammer to break it. Oh, oh no, come on. I can't break it off so I with the hammer. I may be out of shape, but this is stupid. Okay. It's locked. Okay, it broke. Hang on. I click the door open. This is just like a dragon. Alright, I did it right. 3956, that's for the safe. Some numbers scribble on this. It's too short to, to be a phone number or license plate. Maybe a door code or something. I'm the dress, it's unlocked. There's a bottle of gun oil in there. Gun oil. Whoops, I almost dropped it. That bottle's really greasy. This has seen better days. Is that it? Lockers? They're either rusted or locked. Remember Bill wanted for murder possible connection to San Francisco 8. It's map of the country, it's filled with pin circles and notes that look like they were written in a hurry. Alright, we can go to the safe real quick. Safe. Boom. Oh, oh there's nothing in here, nothing but a dumb paper clip. What a bummer, man. Um what do you use a paper clip for? My bill open something with a padlock, but what? Wait, weapon oil. So oil and wait, paper clip might be for the lock downstairs. Does that work? Lock seems a little less stiff now. Can I break it? No, I'm just going to my hands hurt. Okay, lock wow. it. Wow. Oh, wow, it's open. Open. Take the katana. I was like, what are these? But somehow I don't feel as excited about it now. Alright, and now we use the katana for the rope upstairs. And that should let us into the side to see what the. And that should let us. Oh my god, English man. And that should let us know what is inside the door up here. There we go. I'll keep that in so you know this is first take. Hiya! Yeah. The rope's been cut now. What's behind the door? Another dead guy. Desk. There's a rusty roast roster on the desk. Seems a lot of officers were homesick that day. I'm not sure I'll get used to this. I can't even tell if it's a man or a woman. What, what, what's the point of this? A lot of dusty files and reports. That's not a sledgehammer, okay. I should have suffered plenty already. I'll break the window. Oh, I should be a little more careful. I almost cut myself there. Hole in the window. Whoa. Tree branch. <laughs> uh, 
that's uh, that's really far down. Whatever that guy was feeling in that movie Vertigo, that's what I'm feeling right now. Um, I need to find a sunny patch. Is this not a sunny patch? So I'm starting enough in theory. I'm just not sure I should be able to make it. I need something to hold on to besides prayer. I mean, what? What do you hold on to? Oh wait, the rope, the rope, the rope, the rope. There's the rope. Oh, it was on the, the that makes sense. This should come in handy. Alright, let's go back up. And now back inside and we should be able to use the rope on the tree branch to then hold us or something. Perfect. I must probably not have tied in my life. True. Doesn't even look like he tied it, to be honest. <laughs> now, this is it some hor horrible nightmare. That climb is all too well. I need to breathe and get a grip. This is all really happening, so I must have taken that time to the chime people got to the hospital or something. I need to get over there. I'm not sure what I'll get out of it, but I have nothing else to go on. True. Oh, no, you're right. He would be in the hospital, right? Hello. Thank you for watching. Let me know down below what you thought of the game so far, and if you'd like to watch me complete it. Consider supporting me on Patreon. Not only will you have your name shown here every episode, you will get exclusive commentary of all no commentary episodes. Pretty neat. Subscribe to stay up to date on uploads, and until next time, take care.